welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Anna, and on this channel, I'm bringing you along as we learn how to turn our home into a homestead. Today, we're taking part in the Shelf Stable Pantry Collaboration put on by Prepper Potpourri, and taken part in by a bunch of us pantry-loving creators, and I hope that you will check out all of their links, as well as the playlist link down below for all kinds of inspiration and amazing things that you can do with the food you have in your pantry. Today, we're gonna be making salmon croquettes, salmon patties, salmon crunchy delicious, delicious awesomeness, as well as a bonus recipe of some keto bang bang sauce that is off the chain. Canned salmon is a fantastic prep to have in your pantry, but sometimes it's hard to come up with ways that you can use it. But this recipe is definitely one that you want to have in your recipe book so you can use it at the last minute or just for a tasty, delicious meal. I got this recipe from stylishcravings.com. I will link it down below for you. But what you need is one can of salmon drained, two teaspoons of minced garlic, one egg, we added a second egg just so you're aware, one tablespoon of dried parsley, which is what we use, a third of a cup of pork rinds. You can substitute in almond flour or coconut flour, but we use pork rinds a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese grated, and then two tablespoons of dried minced onion. This recipe comes together super quick. All we're gonna do is mix all of these ingredients into a bowl. Canned salmon, we're gonna add in the, the pork rinds, the minced onions, garlic, Parmesan cheese, parsley, and an egg. Cracking this up a bowl. It is a homestead egg. Make sure it's good. Perfect. And then just mix it together like it's a meatloaf. And you'll notice we didn't add any salt to this. And that is because the pork, pork rinds are incredibly salty. The cheese is salty. So if you add salt to it, it's just going to be terribly and unappetizingly salty. I tried a different recipe last night and that was the case. It was so salty. Even for somebody like myself who loves salt, it was very off-putting. So I found a different recipe that had better ingredients to it. I'll make sure that this recipe is going to be linked down below for you. We're going to add in a second egg just to be sure. I feel like it's just going to have a hard time coming together. And the egg in this recipe acts as kind of a binder. So it's going to help to hold this together when you're, when you're frying it up. And that felt just a little bit too dry for me. So I just added a bit extra. And the recipe does not say what size canned tuna to use. And I have a larger can of tuna, so that could be a part of the problem, is that there just wasn't enough egg to cover the amount of salmon we had. We're gonna pop this in the fridge to let it chill and kind of solidify. It's gonna help us to bring everything together. And while that's happening, we're gonna mix up our sauce and heat up our pan, because it shouldn't be more than 10, 15 minutes. This recipe is for a keto bang bang sauce. And one of the recipes that I looked up had said that this is a really good sauce for these uh, fritters. So what, all you need is a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise. This is homemade mayonnaise. Two tablespoons of symbol garlic. I wasn't quite sure what that was, so I looked it up and I believe it is this stuff here. And then it calls for two teaspoons of sriracha. That is not enough. So we're just gonna do a tablespoon and then I'll taste it later and add more if I want. Then it calls for a teaspoon of Swerve confectioner sugar. I don't have that, so I'm gonna use some allulose and hope it's not too grainy. That's the only option I have. Mix it up. So we're just gonna to toss this in the fridge and start shaping up our patties. I'm just gonna go ahead and shape it on this uh, piece of parchment I saved from another project. And the recipe says to portion this into four fritters. So we'll try and do that as best as I can here. This is just some old suet that I had rendered. But yeah, it's gonna have a hard time holding together. Glad I put the, at least that extra egg yolk in there. I think that'll help. There we go. And now we're just gonna put it in our oil. Yep, it's hot. This is probably one of those times you wanna wear an apron because it is gonna kick up quite a bit of oil. There we go, wash my hands. And these are gonna cook for four minutes on each side. We're 
we're done. Let's put these on a plate. I think it would probably be a better idea to make the sauce probably before you even get started on the recipe, uh, just to give it a little more time to solidify in the fridge. But I'm sure it's gonna be just fine. Why don't you come on in here? Let's give these a nice taste test. Mm. Mm. These held together a lot better than I thought. And I'm really glad that I added that second egg. I would definitely recommend it. Let's try the sauce here. It goes so well together. I see why people like bang bang sauce. I don't think I've ever had it, but this is definitely worth making. Whether you're gonna make the croquettes or not, make this if you like heat. With these salmon cakes, you can serve them just as is. Like I'm doing, dipping them in the sauce. It's a fantastic keto, low carb way of having a tasty meal. You could put these on sandwiches. You could use these as salmon burger patties for however you'd like to do that. You could put them inside of like a lettuce wrap if you're going a low carb route or a low carb wrap. You can put this on top of a salad if you happen to have fresh greens. I know that's not pantry challenge, but we're just trying to come up with ways that we can use these, pa these patties here. You could also make these in various different sizes, put on like crackers or something like that. You can make like little little small ones, you know, like, I don't know, 50 cent piece size and just have those available as more of an appetizer. There's a lot of different things that you can do with this. I'm not a mo the most imaginative person in the world, so I hope that you guys will give these things a try and let me know what you use them for. Make sure you guys click on all the links down below so you can check out the other channels that are taking part in this collaboration and as well as the playlist. I'm gonna link down below. There is like six months worth of recipes and ideas of things that you can use with the food that you have in your pantry. If you're kind of stuck, if you're lost, if you're just running behind, it is a great resource for you. And there's also printable recipes for almost every single one. So you can easily just click and print anything that you want to add to your recipe collection. If you guys are new around here, we like to do all kinds of recipes based around fermenting and canning, as well as gardening and pursuing gut healing. If that sounds awesome to you, click this button right here. This is the subscribe button. This is what tells YouTube you want to come back here. Up here is a video that Mr. Google Pants thinks you're going to enjoy. Over here is my last pantry recipe and then up here is gonna be my pantry playlist. You can check it out for all the awesomeness that I've made, but make sure you check out the main one over on Prepper Potpourri's channel. Peace out, sauerkraut.